from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the Great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, we're gonna take a closer look at the Bass Anglers for Saltwater Conservation Organization, also known as Bass for Salt. We're headed up to the Yamaha Midwest Media Event in Bay Harbor, Michigan, to join Americana Outdoors' Wade Middleton, who takes the pledge to support Bass for Salt program. Now, it's been said that America's sportsmen are the original conservationists. Anglers have a special connection to nature that requires us to respect our natural resources and fight for their conservation. But we also have an obligation to other anglers on the water to practice safe boating habits. Likewise, we should always be an example to the community by making sure we have the proper credentials to participate in our sport and by getting involved in the policy discussions that affect recreational anglers. This is an amazing initiative that we're doing to get the word out to just normal Americans what they can do to support and defend their right to fish. Well, what you do at the website is uh, there's some great issues on there that you can read about. If you want to just quickly make a difference, you can click on send a letter and that will bring up a pre-written letter. You can uh, enter your information, read that letter off and just hit submit. Boom, it'll send it right over to your representatives. You know, really everyone who's an angler is part of a, a brotherhood of people who fish. And it's so important that we help each other out. If something's going on in their body of water, we should be there for them and maybe they'll be there for us. Also, you don't tend to think about it, but salt water actually affects everyone. Here in the Midwest where we are right now is where we make our props. So if they're not allowed to fish, that actually impacts jobs all over the, the nation. After bass season's over, Bassmaster Elite Series' Jeff Crete, who also is a longtime supporter of Bass for Salt, meets up with his good friends Derek Kirkendall and Jeff Welt at Port O'Connor, Texas for an offshore fishing trip. You know, we're here probably my favorite place in the world is, uh, everybody talks about man caves and stuff. This is a couple of buddies of mine and I built this place and you can see we like to fish in the salt water. So, when we're down here, this is the getaway, you know. It's the getaway from fishing the tour and all the other stuff. So when we come here, this is our happy place. This is the bottom dropping championship of the world is what this is. You got Derek, the, you got the Port O'Connor full-time guide. So if we don't catch anything, it's all on him. So what happens when I win this? Because if you win this, you become you win the title of ultimate bottom, dro bottom dropper for the day. For the day. <laughs> <laughs> Over the maybe the past 20 years, I've I've had saltwater boats, and they keep getting a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger. And now we have that boat, you know, which is powered by four uh, Yamaha 300 horsepower, and and you know I keep wanting to go a little farther out and a little farther and. We kind of went back to old school with a couple of my best friends and we ran out and we ran out about maybe, you know, 60 miles and fished some, fished some old numbers we used to fish trying to catch, well, whatever bit, you know, that's what was fun about it. We didn't, we didn't really care. How many points are blue runners? I blue just runners, know. no points, no points. Hey, here's the deal. Every no blue points on bait. Every, every blue runner means something big. And what we're doing right now, we're stopping on the upcurrent side of these rigs and we're trying to catch what we call blue runners or hardtail. And we'll go out to these wrecks and rocks that we fish and drop that down and the grouper, everything eats a blue runner. They, they, they're real tough, they're real hardy, they're just really great bait. Perfect! I'll be completely honest with you, the funnest thing to catch is bait. It pulls just hard enough to be fun, but not so hard that you don't want to catch another one. Look at there. Oh, gosh. All right, we've got some bait now. Uh, we're going to head out to the shelf and see what we can catch. 
So the beauty of it is, I'm gonna go right back there. I'm gonna hit navigate to, go to. I'm gonna engage that autopilot. I'm gonna let it drive me right to it, because I can promise you, if I drive, it'll save me probably five miles, as zigzaggy as I'd be. Log on to BassForSalt.com and find out what you can do to defend our right to participate in the sport we love. It's in our stomping grounds, in our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA. They prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger, and smarter, boating gets even better. And more satisfying for boaters like you. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time and by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Hey, welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're 60 miles away from the shore of Port O'Connor, Texas. Jeff Creed, a professional bass angler and a longtime supporter of Bass for Salt, gets together with his friends for a fun offshore fishing down in the Gulf. Yamaha, you know, wrapped the big boat, and as you can see, it says Bass, bass Angler for Saltwater Conservation. And, and people get kind of compu confused by that out here, saltwater fish. People ask me all the time. Basically, it is for the rights of the fishermen, the recreational fishermen. It is your voice to be heard to protect your rights to fish. It's simple. Go to BassForSalt.com. You put your name on there, your email address, and you click basically send and there is a letter already written for you by the organization. What it does, it targets important things that you as a recreational fisherman would never hear about. So you will get the letter, you can read what you know about it or whatever, and then you just hit send, boom, that letter's going to your representative. Otherwise, he has no idea even what it is. So it's just, it's your voice as a recreational fisherman. There is no reason not to log on and, and be proactive on this. It's too easy. Uh, we're out here in about 320 foot of water. 
We're real close to the shelf. There's, we catch marlin and everything out here, but drop some piggy perch and some spoons and just see what we can catch. What you got? Bottom. Bottom? Really enjoy doing that, especially after the bass season's over fishing season because we're going to get a lot of bites. We're going to get our arms wore out. Everybody in the boat's going to catch fish. It's a bunch of good friends. And bottom line is we're going to have something to eat and we're going to have a good time. What are you fishing for, Welch? What are you trying to catch today? What's the highest point? The highest point is a uh, Warsaw. Definitely Warsaw. I'll lose the three points if he'll fight a big Warsaw. You know, the deal is, Welch, I don't know if anybody's ever seen it, if y'all have ever watched those strongman competitions where they, he's a CrossFit world champion. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are throwing live bait. I'm throwing artificial. I'm a bass fishing guy, tournament guy. So, I, you know, I don't use live bait unless they start biting it better than I'm switching bass. <laughs> You know, oh, I see one little old speck down there that's a little, it's a, uh, I could tell by the way he showed up, it was a uh, single yellow edge grouper. Oh! Welch is hooked up. Welch is on. We on the bottom? No. Oh, man, I'm going snappy snap. You need me to get you like a granola bar, a pear bar or anything? I need something. Need a wet towel? I may here in a minute. Do you, do you think there's a chance it could be an endangered red snapper? There's a high chance. I tell you when you can see those muscles bulging right now. Are they my muscles twitching a little Dude, bit? You gotta see them. I think he's gonna blow his shirt up. <laughs> I see color. Man, maybe. Red no snapper. Maybe it's a groupie grouper. Oh, it's a jammer red snapper. Man. Oh, well, well, just lost some points on that one. That's a We're gonna let this fella go. Yeah. Hey. There he goes. Here's the deal. I know you couldn't keep that snapper, and I know you would love to put him in the oven, wouldn't you? Favorite eating fish there is. My favorite eating fish there is. But we can't because there's not enough of them. There's a shortage of red snapper. There's a shortage of red snapper, so we have to release them into the Let me rephrase the that. There's a shortage of red snapper for the recreational angle. There's plenty yeah, of there's red snapper. There's plenty for, uh, for the commercial, commercial people to catch, but not There's for sarcasm going on right now. If you don't, we're being all a little sarcastic, so I apologize. But it was fun, wasn't it? It was great. Well, Trent, now is it a minus one? Hang on. When we left the dock, it was plus one. Yeah, you're right. Left the dock with what? Snappers were one. I'm I dead dead. Oh, I said the duck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're not the captain. Let's just see how he does. If he catches another one, it's a duck. It's easy duck. We're going to have to change these rules. A fun fishing day turned into a mini championship tournament. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. From the makers of Bubba Blade comes the Bubba Blade Fishing Pliers. No matter where you're headed to fish, this tool will become an integral part of your tackle box for many years to come. They feature our patented no-slip grip handles, just like our Bubba Blade knives, ensuring that this tool will stay firmly anchored in your hand. In addition to the handles, these pliers feature a super tough cobalt cutter and convenient split shot and leader sleeve crimping cutouts. The ultimate in control, strength, and durability, Bubba Blade. Ingles got the original high-performance cooler and a whole lot more. Angle coolers, go with the original. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. 
Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Big Bite Bait, designed to bring the big bite to your line. Gill, respect the elements. And by Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, today we're joining Jeff Crete, Derek Kirkendall, and Jeff Welch for offshore fishing, about 60 miles from Port O'Connor, Texas. It's almost a mini competition every time we go fishing. Anytime we do anything, if we go to the store, it's a competition. So it's fun out here, it's relaxed, but the competitive nature is still there. The biggest thing I like about offshore is you get away. I mean, you may see a boat, you may not. It adds a little risk, extra risk to it, but you know, we kind of mitigate that by redundancy in the boat and the e-perbs and life rafts and extra life jackets, but just, just you're out there by yourself. And um, this boat uh, that we currently have is, it's powered by quad 300, quad 300 Yamahas. We've got the Hellmaster on it, it's, it's a beast. I mean, they've got it loaded with killer electronics on there. I mean, it's safe as you can be, you have no worries. Really, when you go out there, you have motors, backup electronics, you have radar, autopilot, the whole nine yards, incredible boat. Hooked up, what's it feel like? fish. <laughs> Did he get it? You got him. Fish is bloated up, coming up. Come on, be a grouper. Looks like red snapper. It definitely is red snapper. Fires, you need them? Hmm? I don't think so. Wells got one? Yeah, he's been fighting one for about 45 minutes. You say four or five minutes? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful American red snapper. Come on, you guys catch something that we want to eat or something really big so I can make fun of you while you fight it. And it's a red snapper. Big one or little one? <laughs> Perfect eating size. So I'm gonna hook it through the head this way. I'm gonna go right through the little meat right behind his head there. Right below the dorsal fin. We're going for a big one here with big perk. Oh, another one, Welch on. So we got the... Oh, uh, we got a double hookup. Red snapper. Good eating fish. I'm up at least... Uh, Three points. 19 snapper. Three <laughs> has none. Derek has one. So I'm going to say I'm up 18. He can't count either. Oh! <laughs> Why are you crying over there, Creed? I'm not crying yet. <laughs> but I don't have a snapper. Hey, give me a ball buster, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'd help hey, you creep, but I'm so, hey suddenly we're buddies. <laughs> Two minutes ago, we weren't friends. Now, all of a sudden, we're buddies? I think Gimbal's gonna... I'm gonna tear hey, it. Hey, Creed. Hey, <laughs> just give me a gimbal. I hear you. You're not you. gonna have any more kids. <laughs> I know. I'm calling the scamp grouper. I loaded up a little bit smaller perch on there. I didn't see any real big. Oh, um, looked like a red snapper. It's not a giant. There he is. That's a three-pointer, boys. Oh, amberjack's probably about as mean as they get, honestly. And that's a little guy. Three points. All right, here he goes. Man, look at that right here. I, I came over those fish just a second ago. And they weren't there, I guess, catching that fish. We brought them all up. There's a bunch right there. We should get bit. Whatever I got's big. I might need the ball buster. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be brown. That's not an AJ. It's a, that's, it's that's a grouper. That's a white colored freaking food. We got some meat. It's a big game. Yes, we're Woo! eating dinner. Five points. All right. 
five points to Welty. That is fine vittles right there. Get old critter in here. That's Get in eating. there and lick on that, that bad right boy. There? Huh? You know what that is? That's good eating right there. That's fine table fare. That is vittles. That is some fine vittles right there. Into the ice. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh it's big. <laughs> you want this snapper? You know those fish out there, they're so strong, I guess, because they're, all, they're always, have, for one, they're always have to move. They're have to move with the bait. They're always moving, and there's always something bigger out there that'll eat them, I guess. They're, they're just mean. And now you put that fish three or 400 foot down on the bottom, it makes it twice as hard. So if you've never been, you have to go. I could never explain to somebody how hard something is. And it, they have to see it for themselves. I can't imagine anybody not wanting to go out there at least one time. Now, if you get sick, at least you did it once. But I guess I love it too much to get sick. Every time I get a little on him, he runs on my drag off. <laughs> Look at all that. Oh! Seriously? Broke me off. Americana Outdoors will be right back after these messages. <laughs> Kobe kayaks provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember. And that's Hobie Kayak. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eye is in the details. The note on the refrigerator. A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in doe estrus. And a Garmin Rhino, the only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in rhino country. What I love about the Bradley Smoker is that it cooks everything perfectly and it holds all the juices in. So today we are going to be smoking some barbecue ribs, some venison sausage, and some dove, which is awesome. You will never grill me doves again. <laughs> I have to have them in the Bradley Smoker. I would prefer to use the Bradley Smoker every time I cook. Well, that's really true because I love this thing. No lie. For more recipes, log on to BradleySmoker.com. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm going to use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works. It works, dude. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife, Power Pole, swift, silent, secure, and by Spro Sports Professionals. Getting a bite. There oh, he is. Well. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Bass Anglers for Saltwater Conservation's mission is to bring all anglers together, regardless of where they fish or what they fish for to defend our right to participate in the sport we love. The thing we represent right now is that Bass for Salt Yamaha initiative with, along with some other partners, but the nice thing about it is they're watching for us, the, us working guy that uh, love to come out and do this, whether it's fresh water, salt water, they're watching the issues, the access issues, the fishing issues, the limit issues, and it's a real quick deal, bassforsalt.com. It's our voice being heard in the U.S. Senate and it allows us to come out and do this, what we look forward to. It's what keeps us going during the week. Catch fish just like that allows us as an angler to come out here and gives us that right. It's just one other tool that uh, lets the fisherman's voice be heard. In case you've never been offshore, 
don't stick your hand in the mouth of a red snapper. You see those uh, teeth hanging on there? They will tear you up. Well, we're running two 76-16s, which are 16-inch screens. Right now, we're, I've got my navigation chart on this side, and I'm running a big group of fish right there on the bottom, big group. Uh, and then we're running, you know, just our sonar here. Um, we also run Garmin Open Array Radar, Garmin Autopilot. Everything is all linked together. And really out here, you, you have to have good electronics. Um, Otherwise, I mean, it's, it's a pretty big area. So to be able to drive straight to your spots and look at the graph is a, and see your fish is a good thing. And the Garmin does it. Going AJ, boys. Nice. Is that the biggest one of the day? I think so. I no. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Biggest. Right. Biggest one. Biggest one by far. You're whooping this off. Here, here. You wait. Hold your way. Are you being sarcastic, or do oh, you realize I, you're getting your butt kicked? Well, dude, you want I, you give me? I have, I've been driving this sucker all day. Oh, hang on. I've made about five drops, and I've got hooked up every time. <laughs> so don't let's not go there too much. <laughs> Was that in the rules earlier? Well, no. I can either fish or I can drive. It's up to you. All right, I'm gonna hold you on a drift. Okay. Here you go. That's fine. Crete, he doesn't like to lose. We're gonna give him an opportunity to redeem himself. For the I'm gonna say he's gonna get a one point fish. It's gonna be a little red snapper about like that. He's, then he's gonna blame, watch this, he's gonna blame it on me for the line. Please be a grouper. Nothing wrong oh, with that. Oh, that's the big one of the day though. Uh, that's what I said about mine. No, but it really is the biggest one of the day. As I said, everything's a competition. So the nice thing about having the camera there is we got the pre-tournament meeting. And so then we could see the tournament and have the post tournament because the rules, as you as you saw, kind of changed throughout the day. Uh, but the camera is going to vindicate that I won, and, and pretty handedly, I, I think I even took about a two-hour break at the end there. According to Welch, he won. According to Big D, old Derek, he won. According to me, I think for time spent fishing, I won. So, you know, in my mind, I was the champion of the day, for sure. I, I mean, I could have finished third. But I did drive the boat all day. It's getting to go fish with two of my best friends and go out with no pressure, absolutely no, really no targeted species. It didn't matter. And just to go out there and talk to smack and just get out to that blue water. I love getting out there to that blue water. I mean, it's, it's my favorite place to be. I've always told these guys, if something happens to me, you guys take me to the furthest floating rig out there Go tuna fishing, and then on your way in, just kick me over, dump my ashes out by out there by one of those platforms. There's no other place I'd rather be than 100, 200 miles offshore. Find out how you can support Bass for Salt and let your representatives know what you think about the sports you love. Go to BassForSalt.com. For any additional information on this show or any previous shows, visit AmericanaOutdoors.com. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production.